I want to start off by saying Brakatha Yahawu, Brakatha Yaharasha, Brakatha Yahawu, Brakatha Yaharasha, Call out Yahawu Ba Hashem Yaharasha, Call out Yahawu Ba Hashem Yaharasha, Ba Hashem Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone, that's so many doctrine and truth and sincerity. Shalom to the elect, the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, which means He is or He exists. By Hashem, in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorant calls Jesus Christ, we know His name to be Yahweh Shai, which means He is the deliverer, He is the savior for the Hebrew Israelites from the pedigree of your father. By Hashem, in the name of the Rakak Wadash, which means the Holy Spirit, is able to give us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. If you're so-called Negro, so-called Latino, so-called Native American, or of the speckled bird looking like the other nations in your spirit, bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh Hashem Shai. You could be one of the elect. Shalom. We've been discontinued from our heritage because we went off falling after false gods and false idols. Now following the law, such a commitment that was given to us by our forefathers. And because of these offenses, we are sent to captivity. But through our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, being that perfect sacrifice in the flesh to the Heavenly Father, he's been given all power to be able to sit on the right-hand side of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, to be able to open the seals of this book, to be able to give the understanding to the disciples, the apostles, the prophets, and the men on down, to be able to wake up the tabernacle of David before the set destruction. And with that knowledge, wisdom, understanding, we're able to know who our oppressor is, which is Esau, Edom. Esau means, means wasted away he is. And they are the biblical Edomites that it speaks about in the scriptures, the wicked of today, the so-called white man that would have the fatness of the earth and would rule with the great sword, which would be the so-called so um, uh, Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Oppenheimers, the DuPonts, the Warburgs, the Schiffs, the so-called white man of today. Okay, but the Lord has shined a great light of truth and understanding and hope and faith upon the believers to be able to believe, to be able to uh, repent and come back to the Lord before that great destruction. So this lesson is going to be centered around um, the name, okay? Because you have uh, groups out there that don't believe in the name. They call on Most High, Christ Blessed. They call on um, Yahweh, Yahshua, all these different names. And those are false idols. Those are gins and sna uh, uh, snares and traps that the Lord has set up for the ones that he doesn't want, okay? Because even amongst uh, people calling upon the name, the Lord is going to get rid of some of them. Okay, why? Because they're not coming with the sound doctrine. It has to be a whole, it's a package deal. That's why it speaks about in Ezekiel 2 and Ezekiel 3, um, uh, eat the whole roll. You have to eat the whole roll. You can't come with half truths, um, half doctrine. You got to, um, you know, because you have to accept the whole doctrine and only the elect's going to be able to attain that whole doctrine, um, including the name, which the name is very important because that name was given to us uh, through the spirit. OK, to give us, uh, um, you know, comfort in these times to be that strong tower in these times. OK, so again, the lesson is going to be centered around the name. So I just I was reading this chapter and this is why we, you know, we went off, you know, how we went off and how we ended up, you know, losing our our, our identity. You know, um, you know, calling ourselves black, calling ourselves African-American, calling ourselves, uh, you know, uh, Latino, calling ourselves Native American, calling ourselves all these proverbs and bywords. Instead of calling ourselves Hebrew Israelites, you still have people today that only call themselves Israelites instead of Hebrew Israelites. OK, going into um, our people being stiff necked. OK, but the elect is going to be able to attain this knowledge. They're going to they're not going to buck up because the Lord has put a spirit of belief and hope and faith through this word. OK, so this is Baruch 2 and 1. It says, therefore, the Lord, Yahweh Shai, hath made good his word. Okay, which the word is Yahweh Shai, which he pronounced against us and against our judges that judge Israel and against our kings and against our princes, against the men of Israel and Judah. So we were all sent into captivity. Why? Because we went off. We went off on after false gods and false idols. We were discontinued from our heritage. It says, two, to bring up upon us a great plague such as never happened under the whole heaven as it came to pass in Jerusalem, which Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. According to the things that were written in the law of Moses, yeah, the um, the only people that were given the law were the uh, the Hebrew Israelites. Okay, Leviticus twenty six and forty six speaks about that. As far as the law, such commandments were given to Israel. Okay, and they were given to Moses, which is a Israel, Hebrew Israelite, and he gave it to what the the children of Israel. Okay, which Israel and, and um the Hebrew goes back to Yasha Allah, princes of the power. Okay, and we knew who we were. Uh, back then but in this captivity that we're in babylon the great in this time um 
you know, before the Lord shined a great light, this truth, um, we didn't have the understanding of who we were. Okay, we were in gross darkness. Our whole head was sick, but the Lord has healed us by giving us the understanding of who we are. Okay, and the plagues that came upon us, uh, you know, one of them is slavery. Okay, having that yoke of iron around our necks, uh, being tossed to and fro, um, these different doctrines, okay, um, being, uh, you know, in those uh, slave ships, okay, having our, our you know, um, our whole people uh, mutilated by um, these different heathen nations. Okay, falling after their, their wicked customs. This is three, that a man should eat the flesh of his own son, the flesh of his own daughter. Okay, going into the cannibalism, going into the famine, going into the place that the Lord sent upon us. Moreover, he had delivered them to be in subjection to all the kingdoms that are round about us to be a reproach and desolation among all the people round about where the Lord had scattered them. So we've been in captivity. All these different heathen nations have had their time as uh, far as putting us under captivity. And now uh, the heathens, there will be no more heathen rulership. You know, Luke 21 and 24 speaks about that, that this will be the last time a heathen will ever be in rulership, which is the, the kingdom of um, Esau, Edom, the so-called white men of today. This speaks about that in 2 Ezra 6, okay, that what he would he would be with the um, end of the world. Let me, uh, let me just get that. <clears throat> this is 2 Ezra 6. And I'm just going to get right to the point. It says in nine, it says for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of that following. Okay. So Esau, which is the so-called white man is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of that following going into, uh, this place has to be cleansed. And as it is in heaven, it's going to be on earth. This place is going to be cleansed with the firing agent. Okay. With those hypersonic missiles and the, and the laser beams of fire. Okay, and then what this place will be rebuilt, and this will be what the kingdom on, kingdom on earth. Okay, it will be a, a cleanse. Okay, and, and Esau Edom will be no more in rulership, no heathen will ever rule again. Okay, it says, um, five, it says, Thus we were cast down and not exalted because we have sinned against the Lord our, our power, and he have not been obedient unto his voice. Yeah, we weren't obedient to the voice of the Lord. We weren't following the law, such your commandments. Okay. It says to the Lord, Yahweh Shai, our power. Appertaineth righteousness, obtaineth righteousness, but unto us, to our fathers, upon shame as appeared this day. For all these plagues are come upon us, which the Lord, Yahweh Shai, hath pronounced against us, yet we have not prayed before the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, that we might turn every one from the imaginations of the wicked heart. Okay? Wherefore the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, watched over us for evil, and the Lord hath brought it upon us, for the Lord is righteous in all his thoughts which he had commanded us. Yeah, the Lord is, is righteous because uh, how we're being judged is through righteousness. Okay? Because the Lord has what... um. You know, we should be, there's different scripture where it speaks about we should be judged um, even more. Okay, but the Lord has what, uh, loosened that yoke and given us mercy by having this understanding and having us, having us obey the, uh, his voice. Okay, to walk in the commandments of the Lord he has set before us. Okay, and now, O Lord, Yahweh Shemarashai of Israel, okay, has brought the people out of the land of Egypt with a mighty hand and a high arm. That's Yahweh Shai. Right, and with signs and with wonders and with the great power has for have thyself a name as a as it appeared this day, so that when that happened, um, when Pharaoh you know uh, fell into the waters, okay, and Israel was able to be uh, guided through the through the waterway through the dry land, okay, um, um, that that name was was ringing bells around the, around the you know the known world at that time, okay, and that's how Yahweh's name was what glorified, okay. It says, 12, O Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, we have sinned, we have done ungodly, we have dealt unrighteously in all thy ordinances. Let the wrath turn from us, for we we are but a few left among the heathen where thou hast scattered us. Hear our prayers, O Lord, and our, our petitions, and deliver us from their own sake, and give us favor in the sight of them which have led us away, that all the earth may know that thou power, Yahweh Shema Shai, because Israel, Yahshua Allah, and his Posterity is called by that name, okay? Going into the generation is called by that name, which is what? Israel, okay? Which is what? Yasha Allah, princes of the power, okay? 
And with having that name, we're calling upon that name. Okay. And we're glorifying that Lord. Because the Lord has what shined a great light. He has quickened our spirit to give us the understanding of the scriptures. Okay. Given us the understanding of who we are. Okay. It says, Baruch two, it's skipping down to Baruch 2 and 30. For I knew that there would not hear me because it is a stick in that people. But in the land of their captives, they shall remember themselves. And the Lord um, has shined a great light. He's shown us mercy and truth. Okay. By we're remembering who we are. We're surnaming ourselves, you know, calling ourselves by Hebrew names. Okay, calling upon the name in the Hebrew, okay, in the Palo Hebrew, the ancient Hebrew. Okay, Shalom, you know, just just little, you know, little things here and there coming back into remembrance. We're not going to have it, um, you know, there is brothers that speak fluent language, you know, as far as the Hebrew, but not everyone's going to have the full Hebrew. Okay, but we have the name and that's what's important. That's the point of this lesson. John 6 and 63, it is the spirit that quicketh, okay, lifted us up, waketh us up. The flesh profit nothing. The words that I speak into you, they are spirit and they are life. Yeah, they are life. Okay, going into see how Rashi is the way, the truth, the life. And knowing the truth shall what set you free. Set you free mentally, mentally and spiritually. Okay. This is Baruch 2 and 31. It says, and you shall know that I am the Lord, thy power, for I will give them a heart and ears to hear. So the Lord's going to give us. Um, ears to hear hear what the prophets okay what they're saying hearing our elders and apostles what they're saying okay that's why we were able to get the name is what through the spirit and from our elders passed it on okay this is um <clears throat> let me go over here actually we'll keep that This is Matthew 13 and 9. It says, who hath ears to hear, let him hear. Okay? Because the ones that are going to be hearing this word are, are the um the hopeful elect. Okay? They're going to hear this word and they're going to um you know drop everything for this truth. Okay? 11. He had answered and said unto them, because it is given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. So it's not given to everyone. Okay? That's why you're not going to be able to convert everybody. Okay, because it's not for everybody. It's only for what a small sanctuary. Okay, 16. But blessed are the eyes for they see and the ears for they hear. So you're able to what see the vision and the judgments that are that are about to be upon this place and to be able to repent and to what be able to hear the prophets and be able to hear the breakdowns and to be able to be comforted through those breakdowns. Okay, because that is the voice of the Lord, because the Lord has given us what of a, a, a heart which goes into the Hebrew word lahab, your mind, okay, your mindset, your eyes to be able to see. This is 1 Corinthians 2 and 16. It says, for who hath known the mind of our Lord Yahweh Shai, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of a Mashiach. So we have the mind of a Mashiach, okay, which is what the anointed, okay, the Messiah, okay? And his mindset is to what? To do thy father's business, to follow these uh, these commandments, because Yahweh Shai is bound by the word, which he is the word, okay? And he's not a man that would lie. And his sheep are going to what? Hear his voice, okay? They're not going to follow after another. This is John 10 and 27. My sheep hear my voice, and they, it says, and I know them, and they follow me. So if they, they know his voice, they're going to follow what? The name, okay? They're not going to follow a pagan name. They're not going to follow a Renaissance art name. Okay. And, and the Lord is not going to, um, while trimmest, why trimmest thy ways to seek love? Cause you have camps out there that are trimming thy ways to seek love, to have everybody in the, you know, everybody in the world can be in the ministry. Okay. Instead of just being the elect. Okay. The remnant. Okay. Those are the only ones that are going to be able to be saved. 144,000 and the believers. Okay. The great multitude of believers. Everybody else is going to get destroyed. He's going to get hit with the plagues of this book. Okay, 28. It says, I will give, this is your Shai and Red Letter. Okay, it says, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand, going into they would be the chosen, the elect. And no one's going to be able to, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, gather the hopeful elect into any other um, doctrine. Okay, they're going to stay um, with no lies in their mouth. <clears throat> this is John 10 and 4. It says, And when he put it forth his own sheep, he go up before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. 
okay? Yeah, we know his voice. So we know the sound of what the Lord's uh, speaking. We know the sound of the trumpet, okay? And we're able to follow that sound doctrine, okay? That sound name, which makes us whole. Five, and a stranger will they not follow, but they will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. So these false prophets, okay? The hopeful elect, they're not going to follow uh, um, the voice of strangers. They're not going to follow... Um, these different camps that are talking about uh, everybody can be saved. Um, you know, they're coming with their um, their flashy garments, coming with their rap videos, coming with their carnality, because those are all um, against the Lord. OK, and, the, and the, um, you know, and the, and the slaki and the hopeful elect, they're going to be what perfect in doctrine. OK, they're going to be sound in that doctrine and they're going to be rehearsing the righteous acts to the best of ability. OK. Because we know that we're in the land of captivity and our righteousness is a filthy rags. We're not, uh, we're subject to sin. The Lord is the one that, um, you know, no man is going to be able to be perfect in, in this body. Okay, that's why we need to be changed in the twinkling of an eye. Okay, but the Lord is what reproving us, uh, uh, rebuking us so we can be able to be tried like gold in a fire. Okay, he's showing us mercy and truth through what these scriptures, giving us comfort. <laughs> This is Baruch 2 and 31 again. It says, and they shall know that I am the Lord, thy power, for I will give them a heart and ears to hear. It says, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. Okay, so why would it say that? Think upon my name. Okay, because we would be given the name. Okay, and then what the land of our captivity, which we're in captivity, we're not free. But you have a lot of camps out there that think they're free and they want to be here. So that's why they'll change the doctrine. You know, they'll make the doctrine, uh, um, you know, more uh, earth friendly or world friendly when this doctrine is is um, pure. OK, and this world is not pure at all. This world is nothing but distractions. OK, a trap and a snare. Only this word is pure. Let me get that. This is Proverbs 30 and 7. Yep, Proverbs 30 and 5. Every word of thy power is pure. It is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. So it is a shield. Okay, and what does it say earlier in the chapter? It speaks about what is thy name if thou could tell. Okay, going into thy son's name and, and the father's name. Okay, and only ones that are going to be able to attain that knowledge is the hopeful elect. Okay, because their eyes are going to be open. They're going to be able to see. Hosea 14 and 9, who is wise and shall understand these things? Prudent, yeah, prudent goes into understanding through the discernment of what time we're in, okay? And shall know them, again, it's a question, for the ways of Yahweh are right, and the just shall walk in them, but the transgressors shall fall therein. So the transgressors, the ones that don't want to turn um, away from those, uh, the wicked ways of this world, okay, they want to keep going down that, um, that broad way. They're going to lead to the destruction while the hopeful elect is going to go down that straight gate because they have the eyes out to be able to uh, discern what time and judgment. This is Ecclesiastes 8 and 1. Obey rulers. It says, one, who is as wise, who is as a wise man, question, and who knoweth the interpretation of a thing? A man's wisdom make his face to shine and the boldness of his face shall be changed. So brothers' faces are shining in great boldness, okay, um, because we see the prophecies that are happening. We have a more short word of prophecy. And more and more we see these false prophets is more and more our light shines because we're able to know that this has to, they have to be there to be able to be at the end. Okay. It says, and the boldness of his face shall be changed, going into changing in a twinkling of an eye. Those that are able to endure uh, to the end. I don't want Rathas out, we're of that number. <clears throat> Skipping down to four. It says, where the word of a king is, there is power. And who may say unto him, what doest thou? And who is the king? Yahweh king of king, Lord of hosts. Okay. And his power is sent out to the servants, the prophets, to be able to give you warning, whether you will hear or, or you forbear. Okay. And who can resist uh, the king? Okay. Who can resist this word? No one. Five, who keepest the commandment shall feel no evil thing, the hopeful elect. And a wise man's heart is sort of both time and judgment. So a wise man, one that has the understanding. How do you measure the time? Through what? The scriptures. Okay. It says, because to every purpose there is a time and judgment. Therefore, the misery of man is great upon them. So there's going to be a great trouble upon those that don't fear the Lord. Okay. And even the ones that fear the Lord, they're going to have to go through much tribulation. We shall enter into the kingdom. That straight path. Okay. 
The Lord is bringing forth his plagues on the earth. He's not prolonging his word anymore. So if you don't understand what the what the, what the word is coming out, okay, the Lord's going to send forth um, great plagues upon you. That's why it's important to repent and come back to the Lord. Call upon the correct name, okay, before uh, the sudden destruction comes upon you. This is 2 Chronicle, uh, Corinthians, Sakim, 5 and 7. 2 Corinthians 5 and 7, for we walk by faith, not by sight. So we walk by faith, okay? Faith in the Lord, that that is the correct name, that we are coming with sound doctrine, okay? And also when you go into the Blue Letter Bible, okay? When you go into um, uh, Joshua, when you go into Hosea, okay? It goes into, um, you know, our Lord's name, as far as uh, Savior and Deliverer. And then you have what? Yah, okay? Yah, which he is the Savior, Okay, and that's his name. That's what it means. Okay, and we need to be saved out of this kingdom from false prophets, from Esau, Edom, from this wicked world. Okay, and that's through faith we believe that. For we walk by faith, not by sight. We are confident, I say, willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with our Lord Yahweh Shai. Wherefore we labor that we whether, it says, wherefore we labor that whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him. And that's what we're praying. We're able to be accepted of him. Okay. And the Lord said that he would give his friends, um, you know, the understanding or he, Saki, he called us friends. Okay. Which friends goes into your kinsmen. So you would know your friend's name. You would know your family's name. Okay. Especially when the, um, you know, if, if that was your savior. Okay, you're going to know his name because you're going to call upon that name. While other people are going to be calling upon JC, Yahshua, and all those different names. And those are going to be the plagues that are going to come upon them. Okay, calling upon those idols. Okay. This is uh, because the elect would what call upon that name. They would have the name in this time. This is Sirach. 17 and 10, Sirach 17 and 10, and the elect shall praise his holy name. So holy goes into what? Separate. Sanctified. The elect goes into what? The 144,000. Okay. And the believers that would, would praise that holy name. They wouldn't be calling, they wouldn't be saying, call upon any name. They wouldn't be saying that because they realize that the doctrine is very important because their, their spirit has been quickened to understand that. And this is not a worldly doctrine, okay? A man's foe shall be of his own household, okay? And you shall be, what, persecuted for my name's sake? That's a blessing, okay? If you're not getting persecuted, the Lord's, the Lord's not ch chastising you, which means most likely you're not of the elect because I know brothers are catching hell, including myself. This is John 3 and 18. It says, he that believeth in me is not condemned, going into judge, but he that believeth is not condemned already, because he had not believed in the name of the only begotten son of thy power. So again, you haven't believed in the, in the name. Slaki, you haven't believed in. Let, let me get this scripture right here. It says 17. For the most high sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Okay. And that world is speaking about uh, Israel. Okay. We saved from what? This destruction. And only the elect's going to be able to be saved out of this destruction. He that believeth in me is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already. So the ones that don't believe in the name are already condemned. Okay? They're already judged. Because he had not believed in the name, believed in the name of the only begotten son of thy Mosai. Okay? So who is his son? Yaharashai. Who is that son of that could tell? Yaharashai, which means he's the deliverer, he is the savior. The heavenly father's name is Yahweh, which means he is or he exists. Okay? And he sent forth his son. Okay, this is in red letter 19, and this is the condemnation. Okay, and this is the condemnation, the judgment, the light is coming to the world. So the truth is coming to the world. Men love darkness, so they love lineups. They love, uh, you know, the best garments. They love the, the, the praise that they get on the earth. Okay, when, when your true uh, glory is through Yaharashai. Yaharashai, that's how you're glory. Okay, that's how you get glory. That's how we're shining right now. Okay, we might be, uh, you know, broken down or whatever far as, but not our spirit. Our spirit is, is, is in great boldness, as I read earlier. Okay, because we see our Lord shining. You know, he's shining in us through that light. Okay, through our countenance. 
John 3 and 19. And this is the condemnation that light has come into the world. The truth has come into the world and men love darkness, the confusion, the obscurity, the 501c3s, the money, the fame, the glory on this side. Men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. And that's exactly what it is. Your deeds are evil if you're calling upon JC. We know JC is, is, a, is a pagan worship. It's, it's a, a, a renaissance art, renaissance uh, uh, name, okay, that Esau Edom put forth. Okay, the J didn't come about till 1524 by, by uh, John Trusino. Okay, so we know that through the power of Yahweh Shem Shai because our elders uh, did the research and then we did the research and we seen what it was. Okay, and through the spirit that was revealed, but it's not going to be revealed to everybody. This is Wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 9. It says, they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. And that's, and that's what's going on. The hopeful elect are putting their trust, all the cards on the table to Yahweh Shem Roshai. Okay, shall understand the truth. Who is the truth? Yahweh Roshai. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. Abide with him. Not, not on some, oh, I'm going to go over here. They're going to be singular. Okay. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to the saints. Yeah, grace and mercy. We're in the grace period. Okay, where the Lord is going to forgive us for our sins. Now, do we make void the law? Do we just do whatever we want? No, we rehearse the righteous acts. Okay, mercy. We're praying that we're in the mercy seat because the Lord has given us understanding. Okay, is to the saints. Who are the saints? The Hebrew Israelites. The, not the Israelites, but the Hebrew Israelites. Okay, to his saints. And he had care for his elect. He had care for his elect. So his elect would know the name in this time. Okay. But the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations, which have neglected the righteous and forsaken Yahweh For who is despised of wisdom and nurture, he is miserable and their hope is vain. Their labors unfruitful and their works unprofitable, going into their sacrifices. Okay. Just because you're on the highways and the byways doesn't mean that those sacrifices are going to the Lord and that they're accepted. Okay, because you first of all, you have to have sound doctrine. Okay, and you have to be coming with that sound name and you have to be of the elect. That's the only way that is profitable to the Lord. And if you despise wisdom, okay, which is this, which is this truth, which is the, which is the true name and nurture, nurture from what your elders that are telling you, um, uh, in breaking it down for you, the actual, um, um, scriptures. Okay. And you don't, you don't have the understanding it means you weren't chosen. Okay, you're not of the chosen. Okay, so it makes you what? He is miserable and their hope is vain. Yet so their vain, their their vain hope is, is deceiving. Okay, and the deceiving and deceiver are Yahaba Shimon Hashai's. It says unfruitful and their works unprofitable. So your works will be unprofitable because it's not um acceptable to the Lord. Because only the elect's gonna be able to attain this truth. This is Romans and have the true name. This is uh, Salakia, Romans 11 and 7. Romans 11 and 7, what the Israel had not attained it, that which he seeketh for, okay, which is what? The truth. But the election had attained it, and the rest were blinded. So the rest were blinded by the God of this world. They were blinded by the Renaissance art. They were blinded by the, the glitz and the glamour of this world, blinded by false prophets, okay, because they were... Uh, you know, set up to be uh, led into a ditch, okay, which ultimately will be their destruction, which is that, what does it say right here? It says, let me skip down to nine, and David said, let their table be a snare and a trap and a stumbling block, a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back away. Yeah, so their eyes be darkened, I mean, they're not going to see what the light, the truth, okay, and have their back turned away. They're going to turn away from the Lord. Okay, and that's what King David, that's also reiterated in Psalm 69 and 22. Okay, their table be a uh, trap and a snare. Okay, this Bible is a trap and a snare to them because they're not coming with um, a correct doctrine. This is Psalms 9 and 10. I'll get right to the point. Psalms 9 and 10. It says, and they that know the name, they that know the name, okay, they that know the name will put their trust in thee. For thou, Yahweh, has not forsaken them that seek thee. Let me, um, I want to look up this word to know. Let's just see if it has anything. 
Ja, da. Strong's H3045. Ja, da. Ja, da. To know. Okay. Ja, da. Okay. Uh, Hebrew 3045. It says, it says to know, to learn, to know, to perceive, to perceive, to, su to see, find out, discern. Okay. What would I read in Hosea 14 and 9? To, who is wise and shall understand these, uh, you know, these sayings? Who is prudent? Okay, discern. Okay, can discern what time and judgment, Ecclesiastics 8 and 4, or 8 and 5. Okay, distinguish, distinguish between uh, the names that are incorrect and distinguish between the, the correct name. To know by experience, to recognize, admit, acknowledge, confess, confess to who? The Lord. To be, it says to know, to be acquainted with, isn't the Lord a, a, um Bringing us back to remembrance, to be acquainted back with the name. To be wise. Since to be made known, to become known, to be revealed. And what does this speak about? Um, what is that? John, uh, John 17, where the Lord's prayer. Okay, the Lord, the Lord had manifested thy name. Okay, manifest manifestation means what? To be revealed. Okay, and it's been revealed in what this time right now, the latter days, to be perceived, to be instructed. And the Lord, what seals your instructions, Job 33 and 15, by the angels, the spiritual angels that seal your instruction and work on the mind of your door. Okay, which your door is your mind. Okay, and the Lord, what subs with you by giving you the nourishment that you need. Okay, which is the name. Okay. Yet to make oneself known. Okay, oneself. So again, <clears throat> going into supping with Revelation 13, uh, Slok, yeah, 3 and eight, uh, 20. Sup, which means to be intimate with. All right, so to be known, the name. It says Psalms 9 and 10, and they that, it says, and they that know the name will put their trust in thee, for thou, O Yahweh, has not forsaken them. That they seek thee. Sing praises to Yahweh, which dwell in Zion. Declare among the people his doings. And what are the songs? This new song that's being sung correctly. And that's a, um, the Lord loves hearing that new song. It's like a sweet savior to him. <clears throat> okay. It says, when he make inquisition for blood, he remembereth them that he forgot not the cry of the humble. Okay. The cry of the humble. Those that have bowed down to the name. And those that have humbled themselves to Yahweh Hashem Rashad. Have mercy upon me, O Yahweh. Consider my trouble, which I suffer of them that hate me, and thou lifted up thy gates of death. Yeah, and so, um, again, even our own people uh, trouble us, you know, coming with false doctrine, calling us, uh, you know, slandering, slandering, um, you know, the doctrine, okay, slandering our elders, okay? Because, again, this is the land of no order. This is Psalms 33 and 21. For our heart shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name. Okay. Holy means what? Separated, sanctified. Okay. Name. Because this, this generation is an impious generation. It means that they don't have respect to you. They don't have respect for Yahweh Shemar Shai. So they're going to have to know what death by pain. It says 22. Let the mercy, O Yahweh, be upon us according to as we hope in thee. So the, the hopeful elect are hoping in the Lord, trusting in the Lord, trusting, um, that he is a rewarder that diligently seek it. Okay. This is Psalms 39 and 15. Sake, Sirach 39 in the Apocrypha. Sirach 39. <clears throat> I'm going to skip around a little bit. This is Sirach 39 and 15. It says, magnify his name. Magnify. Okay. Magnify. Put it under a lens. It's very important. His name and show forth his praise with songs of your lips. The new song, sing it correctly. And with your harps and praising him, you shall say after this manner. Okay. All the works of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, are exceedingly good. And whatsoever he commanded shall be accomplished in due season. Going into trusting in Yahweh Shemar Shai, not changing the doctrine. Knowing that our Lord has always came back for, uh, for Israel. Okay. But we went off, okay? And now this is the last time uh, where the Lord um, is going to, um, you know, this is the last time that we're going to have to be saved, okay? Because ultimately all Israel will be saved, but in this time it will be the elect, 
because two thirds of our people don't want to hearken. They're calling upon JC. They think JC is going to save them. And the Lord's going to show them that the Lord wasn't being intimate with them as far as giving them the, the true understanding. They were false prophets. And I want to write this out. We're able to endure to the end with that sound doctrine, with the sound name. This is I'll end it right here. This is Sirach 51 and 11. I will praise. It says, I will praise the name continually. Let me let me get let me get up a little bit. Let me get eight. Sirach 51 and eight. It says, then thought upon the mercy of the Lord and upon the acts of the old going into the Lord always delivered us. OK, how that delivers us, delivered us such as wait for thee. Slack you such as wait for thee and savest them out of the hands of thy enemies. OK, thou lifted up supplications, yet prayers from the earth and pray for deliverance from death. I called upon the Lord, Yaharashai, thy father of my Lord, that we would not leave me in the days of trouble, in the time of the proud, where there was no help. It says, I will praise thy name continually, and I will sing praises with thanksgiving. So you're going to be saying the name, the name, the name. No, you're going to call upon his true name, Yahweh Yahweh Rashad. Okay? I will praise the name continually. I will sing praises with thanksgiving. And so my prayer was heard. For thou savest me from the destruction and deliverest me from the evil time. Therefore, I will give thanks for the praise thee and bless thy name. O Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh So with that, Kohala Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Ba'ashim Rakaq Wadash. Shalom to the elect. Kwam Yahweh.